a human hand, the wing of a bat, our eye, the 800 lens eye in a fly. Life has evolved incredible variations, sizes, and shapes. Now scientists are discovering that despite the differences, animals are related in totally unexpected ways. That's really remarkable, that a version of the same recipe can build bodies that are so utterly different. In the midst of developing a video game based on evolution, game designer Will Wright is investigating a toolkit of genes critical to how evolution works. It's interesting that something as versatile as a human hand could actually be coming from something as simple as a fin. It's transforming our view of evolution and our understanding of how we came to be. What starts as just a single cell somehow becomes a trillion-celled human being. How did we come by this exquisitely constructed form? Why is your heart on the left and not the right? Why is your thumb different from your little finger? Why is your arm different from your leg? From all the parts in Mother Nature's garage, how did our prized parts come to be? Upright striding skeleton, nimble hands, powerhouse heart muscle, naked skin, clever brain, the latest science is taking us into our family tree as never before, revealing a story that connects us with some of the most unexpected creatures in the animal kingdom. How did so many experiments in bodybuilding over so many millions of years ultimately fit together a body such as ours? Huge question but we're getting some unexpected help from video game designer Will Wright. He revolutionized the game industry with SimCity and The Sims. Remarkable simulations of cities and the lives of their residents that parallel the real world. Now, he and his team are hard at work on a new challenge. One of the most ambitious games ever, simulating the process of evolution. It's called Spore, and in it, a player designs creatures that must compete against predators, mate, obtain better body parts, and if they survive, ultimately become spacefaring voyagers. Replicating evolution's creature making has led Will Wright to develop an interest in how evolution actually makes bodies and changes them. I'd really like to kind of go out and see how nature does it. What are the things that evolution has at its disposal to define a creature, to mix and match the parts, and eventually come up with a unique organism that's going to go out there and have to live its life and try to reproduce? To find out, Will Wright is going to visit top scientists, exploring the connections between evolution and genetics. Answers first turned up in a bug. You wouldn't think that anything with antennae, wings, six legs, bug eyes, and a taste for decaying fruit could share a resemblance with us. But you would be wrong. Will Wright is at UC Berkeley's Fly Lab. It may be tiny, but the fruit fly is the giant of genetics. No organism has been studied more thoroughly. So what's with all the flies? Well, you know, these are normal flies. These are what we call the wild type. We also have some very interesting mutants that I think you'll find quite compelling. Geneticist Michael Levine is a key figure in a new science called Evo Devo that's found a doorway into evolution by examining how an embryo develops into an animal. Sometimes that process can go very wrong. So, well, that's a huge blow up of a fly head. Okay. 
Do you see anything uh, a little peculiar about it? Yeah, the antenna looked very strange. What's with that? This is a mutant called Antennapedia. So that's a leg on the left side? That's a leg. Not